Hey guys, welcome to a new year and a new beginning. Hope this time it will be better than the last. Also, I'm sorry my voice is not quite what it's supposed to be right now. I'm just a tad sick. Not that I can't beat out, right? But anyways, we all can admit with a straight face that this year will be great for lots of anime shows returning and new ones as well. However, the anime that is taking center stage this year is Bleach with the news of its continuation and the teaser trailer that has us all jumping from our seats. That is why for today, we will be recapping the forms of Ichigo and the powers. These forms will be exclusive to the show and movies only, so we won't include his other forms from the games or anything, and I gotta tell you, he has too many forms to count. It could take us days to sort through them all. So before we start, be sure to hit the subscribe button and press that bell icon, and send us all to be notified about our latest videos. And beware of the following spoilers. Coming in at number one is Ichigo's human form. All heroes gotta start somewhere, and this form is the weakest out of all of Ichigo's modes for obvious reasons. However, even though he is just a human in this form, Ichigo proves to everyone how strong he is in the iconic scene where he uses the gang's leader's phone to call for ambulances for the other gang members, and then proceeds in beating the living shit out of them, freeing Sato from his captors. Coming in at number two, we have Soul Form, or Alma. This is the form that all humans take after their death, with a chain suspended all the way from their heart to the ground. The chain in itself is like a timer. It starts to deteriorate, eaten by weird mouths appearing on it, and if it reaches the end and the whole chain disappears, a person turns into a hollow. The only way to save a person's soul is to send it to the Soul Society using the blade of a Shinigami in the process called Konso. Coming in at number 3 we have Shinigami Base Form. This was the iconic moment etched into our hearts that everything started from with Ichigo taking the powers of Rukia and stabbing himself with her Zanpakuto, becoming a substitute Shinigami and killing the Hollow pursuing them. Ichigo in this form looks like any other Shinigami in the Shihakusho, a pitch dark kimono that all Shinigami wear and with a gigantic blade on his back signifying how immense his Reitsu is and how low his control over it is as well. Coming in at number 4 we have the Shikai form. After his utter defeat at the hands of Renji and Kuchiki Byakuya, and the events that took place afterwards, Ichigo began to train with Kisuki Urahara, underneath his workplace and home. During this training, Ichigo learns of the existence of the Shikai form and Bankai form of a Zanpakuto, and learns that to unlock his Shikai form, he needs to learn the name of his blade, which is later on revealed to be Zangetsu. And coming in at number 5 is Zangetsu. Speak of the devil, but like we just talked about him. Zangetsu is the spirit lying inside of Ichigo and the embodiment of his blade. He has the form of an old man in a black cape covering him from his neck to toe with long hair and eyeglasses on his face. Ichigo prefers calling him Zangetsu Osan, translating to Old Man Zangetsu. Coming in at number 6 is the Bankai form. After being so close from the tower where his beloved dear friend Rukia was held captive, Ichigo went full throttle in order to rescue her only to be utterly destroyed once again by the crazy power and speed of Kuchiki Byakuya, standing guard at the tower's entrance. Ichigo, overwhelmed by his enemy, fell conscious only to be carried to safety by Yoruichi Shioin, promising Byakuya to teach him Bankai in merely three days, and she did in two days. Ichigo learned to master his Bankai, taking his powers to an even higher level, something that no one before him was ever able to accomplish, and for once he was able to fight against Byakuya on equal terms a Bankai for a Bankai, and speed for speed. Coming in at number 7, we have Hollow Ichigo. Hollow Ichigo, as the name implies, looks like Ichigo but retains the white characteristic of a Hollow, as well with the best lines in the series and the most savage fighting style you can ever see a sword user apply. This version is the complete opposite of Ichigo and allows his killer instincts to go wild, unhindered, and unhinged by anything. All he knows is blood, thirst, and his wish to fight. Coming in at number 8, we have Hollowfication. This form is to prove of Hollow Ichigo taking the reins of the fight and finishing off what Ichigo himself could not. In this modern form, a hollow mask forms on the face of Ichigo and his face is reminiscent of that of a hollow. This form brings a lot of kick to it, adding even more firepower to an already powerful Getsuga Tensho, rivaling even the ultimate technique of Byakuya and defeating him once and for all. 
Until Ichigo was able to master that form, however, he would go completely out of control and fight over the reins with Hollow Ichigo. Coming in at number 9 is Full Hollow. After Ichigo loses complete control of his body, he becomes a complete hollowed monster from head to toe with the scary, creepy eyes, the hole in his chest, and, of course, the killer animal instinct. Few are those who fought against his form and came out unscathed, including the Wizards, who took turns fighting Ichigo until he was able to take control of his form, to the point they started to believe that Ichigo is a lost cause and needs to be put down. This form does not know how to hold back, and anyone unlucky enough to be at the end of his attacks is, well, fuck. Coming in at number 10 is Vizard. After Ichigo was successfully able to control his holofication, after kicking hollow Ichigo's ass in the inside world, he added yet another powerful skill to his list of powers and multipliers. He mostly uses this hollow mask ability when in Bankai form, since his Shikai can't withstand its strain and power. Even his Bankai form struggled with holding the Vizard form for more than mere minutes. And it was thanks to this form that he was able to protect Orihime and win against Grimjo, besting him even in his resurrection form, delivering a Getsuga Tensho right at his face, swatting him like a bug from the sky. Coming in at number 11 is Vasto Lord. This was, and forever will be, one of the most unexpected outcomes in a battle, in this battle, with Okira, Cypher, Ichigo actually lost and died. Even though his death didn't last, the powerlessness he felt in the defeat at the hands of Okira, as well as the merciless attack he suffered from him that ripped a hole through his chest was more than enough to set the mood that the main character lost, and all hope is gone. In those few seconds of despair we felt that seemed like a century, something awoke in Ichigo and revived him, kinda. The hole in his chest was still there, so this could mean only one thing, and the long hair and horns were more than enough to know what is coming. Next thing we knew, he pulled his sword to his hand like Thor calls Molnir, and then it came. The howl that shook Hueco Mundo and Okira to their core. Right after it came a Cero Oscuras that wrought destruction onto the battlefield in the true battle started between Ichigo Vastolord and Okira. The battle was a swift one and Okira found himself back into a corner, especially after he tanked his Cero Spear attack. Actually tanked isn't the right word here. He freaking broke it with his bare hands. And the next thing he did was fire an empowered Cero right at Okira, point blank, just like he did to him. Oh my, how the tables have turned, and just how freaking epic it was. However, with the return of Ichigo to his senses, he shed his tears and remorse that he couldn't fight Okira on equal footing. Coming in at number 12 is Kushinada. The Kushinada are the guardians of the souls of the damned in hell, and when a hollow that had committed heinous acts in its life is defeated and the gates of hell appear, a Kushinada is what stabs it and drags it into the gate. However, it was until the movie came that we were able to witness the true form of those powerful gigantic beings governing over hell and those sinners in it. These sentinels also have the ability to grant those they deem worthy, the skull-clad armor, seeing their will fulfilled through them granting them the power of hell, making their will absolutely to punish the sinners in whatever way they deem necessary. After becoming a skull-clad, Ichigo was easily able to win his battle, however, this power he gained had to be returned. Coming in at number 13 is Tensa Zangetsu. After the defeat, loss, and confusion Ichigo was left in after his encounter with Aizen, he had to find an even more powerful ability hidden within himself that would come with a heavy cost. However, he had no other choice as this was his only hope at defeating Aizen and saving the town from him. In order to gain that ability, he needed to go once again into his inside world to learn his final technique from Zangetsu. Only to be surprised that Zangetsu has reverted to a younger version of himself and that his world is now fully submerged underwater. In this form, Zangetsu seems to be the exact age of Ichigo with the same black robes and dead eyes. Coming in at number 14 is Vasto Lord Hollow Ichigo. Tensa Zangetsu wasn't the only one that caught Ichigo off guard. The appearance of Vasto Lord Hollow Ichigo also came as a surprise to him, and he couldn't believe that this is how he looked when he was saving Orihime from Okira. In this form, Hollow Ichigo looks uncanny to when he fought Okira. However, the colors this time are all black and white. Coming in at number 15 is White Zangetsu. 
This form is the fusion of both Tensa Zangetsu and Hollow Ichigo. It is the culmination of all their powers and forms into one becoming the ultimate strength and hurdle that Ichigo must defeat in order to advance any further and learn the final Getsuka Tensho ability. In each blow they traded, Ichigo was being thrown from side to side like a piece of paper. His strength was underwhelming and was being beaten back. However, he sensed sorrow and sadness in this battle. It wasn't his, however. It was White Zangetsu's. The thing about the final Getsuga is that it literally is the final Getsuga. Since, in order to execute it, Ichigo has to burn all of his Rietsu, using it in one last ditch attack that is all or none. And the cost? His spiritual powers, of course. Coming in at number 16 is the Dengai form. After Ichimaro Jin failed in destroying Aizen and on his last breath, Ichigo emerged out of the Dengai, a new person, and he even seemed older with longer hair as well. Standing face to face with Aizen Ichimaru, saw in his eyes the strength needed to complete what he could. In this form, Zagitsu Chain is covering his whole hand and his hair is longer with a cold look in his eyes and complete demeanor to Aizen to the point he holds him from his head and jumps away from the city with him. Add insult to injury, he reveals that in this form he is the one pulverizing the mountains and to taunt Aizen even more, Ichigo grabs his sword with his bare hand, stopping his attack, and then proceeds at tanking and shattering his hado, number 90 Kurohitsugi, leaving Aizen for once speechless and with no smug comeback. In the end of it all, he even tanked his final form blast, harming only his left hand in the process. Coming in at number 17 is the final Getsuga Tensho. When Ichigo resides to use this form, he proceeds to burn his Rietsu in a gray dark mist enveloping him with waist-long black hair and bandages, covering his whole body and his right arm up to his eyes. With tattered and torn black remains of his kimono, you see in this form Ichigo becomes Zangetsu himself. On his left arm are the dark chains covering his whole arm. This form grants him control and the ability to condense all of his Rietsu into a final attack that will burn his soul, Reaper powers with it, donning the epic name of Mugetsu on that final technique. And it was thanks to that technique that they were finally able to stop Aizen in his tracks and put an end to his assault. After using the skill, Ichigo collapsed due to his fatigue and due to undergoing the process of burning up all of his Rietsu. Coming in at number 18 is Full Bring Base Form. In the aftermath of the battle with Aizen, Ichigo regains consciousness after a month or so, and then another year and a half passes with Ichigo having no powers and just concentrating like a normal human on normal stuff at his age like school and going out with friends. One thing leads to another, and he finds himself invited by someone named Kugo to their secret club called Execution. After an unknown individual targeted Ichigo's friends, they then begin to teach him how to harness the power of Fulbring and how it is different than that of a Shinigami and closer to that of a Hollow. To master Fulbring, one must pass through many stages of evolution and training, but first one has to learn to channel his powers through something he holds an affection to. In Ichigo's case, it was his Soul Reaper substitute badge forming a Suba, like that of Tensa Sangetsu, that he was able to fire off like he used to do with Getsuga. Coming in at number 19 is Fulbring Shinigami form. In his rigorous training, Ichigo is set to fight against Jackie inside the fish tank thanks to Riruka's abilities during this fight. He gets his ass handed to him multiple times by Jackie, and in his moments of defeat, his badge goes berserk, engulfing his hand and unleashing crazy amounts of Riatu. Jackie tries to abort the training, but Ichigo believes in his badge and knows exactly what it wants from him and that is to regain his powers as a Shinigami as soon as possible. In this form, Ichigo is clad in black Reitsu shaped exactly like in Shinigami, Shihakusho, with a blade-like Reitsu prolongation. In this form, Ichigo battles against Tsukishima and shows a lot of promise when it comes to his progression in his training. However, his form dissipates from his left shoulder, revealing that he has reached his limit in this unperfect form. Coming in at number 20 is Fulbring Perfect Form. Fulbring Perfect Form is the third and last form Ichigo takes on. After the countless taunts of Kugo like slashing Ichigo's eyes and stabbing him in the chest only to continue his ruse in play by taunting Ichigo about wanting to kill Orihime and Sato, all this anger, rage, and helplessness awakened the powers that he once lost and completed his Fulbring form, allowing him to see the Rietsu of Kugo even though he was blind. This form grants Ichigo a full body armor that even covers parts of his face with a blade smaller than that of Tensa Zagetsu, emerging from his badge as his new weapon. This form proved to be able to fight Tsukishima on equal footing even though he had the help and backing of a mind-washed Orihime and Sado. The speed was just too much for any of them to handle, and he even caught Tsukishima unaware tearing off his hand. 
Orihime later on fixed it, but it still counts as a feat. Coming in at number 21 is Fullbring Shikai. After the betrayal of Kugo and losing his Fullbring powers, a broken Ichigo stood in the rain crying and feeling remorse for being powerless, unable to protect anyone. Only for a white blade to stab through him, granting him his previous Shinigami powers thanks to the work of Kuchiki Rukia, his father, and Kusuke Urahara. With his powers restored and adding to them the power up of the full bring, Ichigo was more than ready to teach Kugo a lesson about messing with him. And the best way to make him piss his pants was to fire a Getsuga Tensho into the sky destroying the mansion and clearing the clouds from the sky, leaving Kugo speechless and terrified. Coming in at number 22, we have Fullbring Bankai. Similar to his other skills of Bankai before, the Fullbring Ichigo was yet again able to go into his Bankai form with a much more epic looking Tensa Sangetsu. And even more power to his attacks, poor Kugo stood no chance against him. In this form, he was even able to block the sword beam of Kugo with his bare hand and defeat him once and for all. And coming in at number 23 is True Zanpakuto. After Ichigo's blade broke in his Bankai form, he was sent off to meet with Squad Zero in order to reforge a new Zangetsu, and with the help and guidance of Oetsu, Ichigo was able to reforge his weapon, but the surprise here was that this time, Tensa Zangetsu was two blades rather than one, with a white long blade and a shorter black one signifying his Shinigami and hollow powers and achieving the true form of his weapon. And that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for sitting through this with me, and I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. I would like you all to comment down in the section below about your favorite form of Ichigo and why. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you? It's free. And with that said, I hope you guys had a great time. And as for now, I'll catch you later. See you in the next one.